Well, I think that um, we're in the best physical shape that we've been all year long. Uh, I think it allowed us to clean up some things in all three phases of the game. And um, hopefully that, that, that shows in this game. I think we're going to play really well. I think we're going to play really fast. Did it give you a chance to take a deep breath, too, and just kind of get past the loss and move on? Yeah, I think it did. Um, you know, um, everybody seems to forget we actually won our last game. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, it is it is what it is. You know, we're not going to get the game back. We're not going to get to play them again. And um, we've got to move on. You know, we've talked about it enough. And, uh, it was good for our players, I think, just to get away from the every day of being around us and, and get a little bit of break. Anyone uh, make a jump this week? along particularly well? I think Kevon Seymour played really well. Uh, you know, as we go throughout the season, we'll look to expand his role at some point. I don't know when that's going to be, but uh, it's good to have good to have a, a young corner like that. Any of the uh, linemen, did they get any extra reps? Some, maybe some of the guys that either, either haven't played at all and looking to next year? Or? Not really. You know, there's not really many guys um, in our offense, in our offensive line um, to rotate in there. Um, they're either redshirting or, or have played for the most part. So uh, Max Turk continues to look good and we'll continue to hopefully find ways to get him in the game. It's important to show that you can play well on the road again. Uh, the last one didn't go well. The, the win came at home. It's important to show that you can play well on the road. Well, I don't think show. I think it's just important to do. Um, we, we need to play better on the road. You know, we didn't do well in our last game. Um, Finished last last year doing well. It's a new year, and so uh, you know to help do a lot better on third down. You know, help to take care of the ball. Right, when you got a, a uh, player like John Martinez, this is like a big you know once in his career homecoming return and all that. Any advice for you know a kid that, where it's a big deal kind of to go back home to Salt Lake City? Yeah, we really downplay it. You know, really you know, just talk to him about doing his job. You know, it's just a, it's the next game. It's gonna have nothing to do with whether you whether you play really well, um, where the game's at. So go back to your fundamentals. Talk about the defensive line in uh, 2003 that held opponents to 1.7 yards per carry. What what number does this need? Does this defensive line need to get to where you think this they can really take over games and control them? Well, that would obviously be great to have anything near those numbers. I mean, that was an older group. You know, this is still a relatively inexperienced group um, comparatively, uh, but they've they've done well and they've continued to improve throughout the season, so this will be a good road test for him. And we're going to need him to play well. Anytime you go on the road in a hostile environment, you need your defense to play well. Where has Dion been able to do defensively that maybe a step that he's taken from last year? Well, I think Dion has been, uh, you know, the lead for this changing of the, of the defensive philosophy because of college football and the conference and getting smaller and faster and more playmakers. So we're continuing to try to recruit the same way because he makes so many plays. Obviously, he's undersized for the position that he plays, but he makes he makes so many plays that it's a lot more important than having a guy who's bigger. You mentioned Kevin Stagg, Colin Seymour, and uh, trying to get him a new role. Does, if he plays the nickel well, does that help the Sam linebacker position out as well? As far as getting a break, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, any time that you could, if you can play nickel, you're going to allow one of your guys to come out. Now, ours is a little bit different um, because Dion flops over, you know, and he stays in the game in nickel. Uh, you know, and Lamar has come out and Hayes has gone in the middle, so, uh, but it does give someone a break. Any update on Collard's status for the game or anything? Yeah, I hope that he plays, and um, obviously there's a big difference when he does. The last two games that he's played, we've rushed for over 250 yards in those games. Blaine, is there a uh, game time, kickoff time that you prefer as a head coach, or do you think it doesn't matter? I think 1230. Um, you know, it's a little bit old-fashioned, but I just think for fans, for everybody involved, it's just, you know, you get up, you play, and have the rest of the day, you know, because these guys come in on Sundays, and uh, it's not like the NFL. These guys come in Sundays, they lift, um, they meet, and then they, then they have tutors and study hall and academic stuff Sunday night. So um, because of that reason, especially when you're on the road, we really don't like road games, or we really don't like night games in general, especially on the road. So what are you doing to prepare for a 7 p.m. local start? And how much does that involve? Yeah, I'm not worried about preparation. Um, I'm just I'm just answering the question as far as what, what I prefer from the standpoint of for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not worried about when the, when the game kicks off as far as how well we'll play. And the mindset of these guys going forward? I think they're in a good place, but we need to play well. Um, we need to play well in this game. It's going to be an exciting game, very competitive. Their last game means nothing. Um, they won't play anything like it. They'll come out extremely physical, excited, and throw everything at us. 
crazy things happen on, on Thursday nights. And, or do you have talks with that about the staff? Do you maybe try to make sure you cross all your all your T's and dot all your I's? And, yeah, you know, we talk about weather and the storm when you go on the road anytime, but especially if it's a Thursday night game in an environment like it'll be, uh, you know, they're going to make some plays. You know, it's going to happen. And, you know, stay upbeat with the players, especially the younger guys who haven't been in these type of situations. A star guy, you have to account for him every play. You do. You know, you know where he is, um, you know, to deal with him because he can be, he can make so many plays. And also, um, you know, the, the penetration is such an issue. You know, even if he's not making the play, he's making the running backs bounce. Bounce the runs of the quarterback having to move around. Okay.